Hello there, I'm Brad Pritchard. This is Super Mega Baseball 3. Um, clearly I play a lot of baseball today and perhaps I should not continue to be doing so. But, I decided to make one more video anyway. Maybe two, we'll see. Hopefully not, I probably shouldn't do that. I'm a little... I took a nap and I'm still sleepy and I'm going to drink some more. So, <laughs> um, with all those factors in play, probably shouldn't like my chances of winning too much. But we'll give it a shot. Let's simulate some games. Ooh, the heaters beat the Sandcats. They dropped down within a game of me. Herbasaur still out there doing it. Platypi get another win. All right, that's not too many games to simulate there. We are playing the B-Wolves. That's not good. Hurley Bender's good at pitching. We got Manny K's out there, though. So we shouldn't be too afraid. Some depression on the team. We also got some people who are juiced for some reason. Never really know why that happens. Uh, Modokai Hata can still sit for another game, frankly. We're going to leave Filet Jones and the Hammer in there to try to hit their way out of their slumps. Um, well, you know what? He's slow, but his feeling's not that bad. Let's do that. Hitting's going to be a challenge against these guys. I'm not looking forward to it. But we need to win. It's been a very uh, streaky season thus far. Ish. This guy's too good at pitching. But is that fleet beefy? He's too good at hitting. He got lost, like he's one of my players. And an easy trip. Could have been a stand-up triple for Fleep there. I did obviously did not adjust my lineup at all. Well. But it's fine. Um Otica's not in the game. What am I doing? Well hit. I think that's gone. Cat Stanza has sent this one to the moon. Off the steps. Heading towards the, the dual killer whales. Nice start for the Sirloins. 451 feet. Her fifth donger of the season. Pitch a little bit tense. Looks low to me. Ow. Hammer having a hard time hitting his way out of the slump, though. Here's the juiced animal. Hmm. Shouldn't have swung. Don't think it's going to slop in either. That's unfortunate. Excuse me. That was indeed a strike. That was actually a good pitch to swing at. And uh, somehow that didn't go right. Anyway, we still got two runs in the first. It's good to see. We're not going to get too jazzed about Manny K's pitching, so it doesn't always work out for me. Look at this monster. Kylie Patton is uh, feeling it. Gold Glove winner's feeling it too, though, and he makes the play of first. Former Gold Glove winner. Yeah, that one's right over the plate. Making stupid throws. I didn't at least hurt myself that time. And look at this jerk. I guess everybody, just like absolutely everybody got juiced this week for some reason. The mysteries of juice are a little too much for me to puzzle out. I don't understand how that works. I hate to see the tough out. Looks like Lloyd Cook wants me to call him the uh, Gold Glove winner again. We'll see about that. Oh, I smoked way too many cigarettes today. Here she is, the queen, eel soup. Ah, uh, is that going to get to the fence? Doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. Now back, the catcher, number five. 
Wow. Mm. You hate to see that kind of thing happen to Posh Wayne, right? Whenever we play these American League... Oh, wait. That's not my pitcher just yet. Of course, Longstroke. What? Oh. One, two, three inning. That's unfortunate. Well, that's not a great pitch. He swings anyway, but I am not sure that we're going to get there in time. Doesn't look like it. But that's the first time that's happened to me. There's the double play ball. Don't care for this Johnson Swanson character. He's not going to swing at that garbage. So it does look like uh, double plays have a greater mojo effect than just a regular out. Right three. There we go. Manny K is going to chance to back up his excellent pitching here on the plate. At the plate. I'll say at the plate. He's a, he's a speedster. Okay, well, that was a strike. Hey, buddy. Accidental check th swings are really my thing when I'm trying to contact hit. Fleet Beefy looking good here. Triple in the first. Let's see if he can get something going here in the third. That was uh, poor. Three and one? He's got the green light, though, for sure. What? All right, fouls that one off, luckily. And that one I knew I shouldn't swing as soon as I let it go, but I did. Mojo down? Get the fuck out of here. Excuse me. He's got the green light as well. And hits it right at him. Hate to see that kind of thing happen. After an inspiring first inning, uh, the second and third innings do not impress. Oh, he's the Gold Glove winner again. Lloyd Cook with the play. Can't get him to go fishing on that one. Two down. Bojo down for that fellow. And here's the pitcher, who, uh, also a little bit fast. You don't want to face a locked-in Manny Kays. Strike three. And as we head into the fourth, it's still 2-0 sirloins. Here's the hammer. He wants a hit. He's got a contact swing, though. Here come the, the accidental check swings. Wow, that got in on me, didn't it? Uh, slop in? It's not going to slop in. It's been a rough little road here for uh, the hammer. Mm, bad looking swing. Good looking swing, but did not get the job done. And Lloyd Cook cannot. Jeez, he's locked in now. This is bad news.
Emiliano Wankerstein's going to send him right back down to neutral. But it's not a donger. Their center fielder is just having a rough time out there. And here's Eel Soup. Takes a look at a couple pitches. Definitely takes a look at that third pitch. He's got the green light, though. Doesn't go for it. That pitch was too difficult. And she'll take her base. No, I mean, no shame in walking her. She's terrifying. Oh, and I've botched it. Feel free to drop it, buddy. Bojo down for Posh. Hate to see that kind of thing happen to a good player like her. But I literally don't remember the last time I got a hit with Posh, so. Guess that's only natural. Ooh, I thought I was going to drop that one. I was not quite in the correct position. That is not on time. They're making their push here, you can see. Uh, yeah, advancing to third. Nothing I can do about it except make a tackle. Okay. Kind of brought that pitch back from the danger zone. Could use a strike out here in the high heat. Is the way to do it. It is not the way to do it. It's two to two. Jeez. They've got some dangerous batters at the top of the order. That's all I can really say about that. Fake sneezed him. Did not work. Oh, having a hard time getting out suddenly. Suddenly. Cassian decides, what? What happened there? Oh, I stepped on second, or on first, when she first caught the ball. It's all clear now. Here's trash bag Johnson Swanson. He's out. Two runs surrendered, though. Yeah, hate to see it. Cork Longstroke still looking for his first hit of the season. That's not going to do it. The slowdown didn't help, but uh, was not the cause of that. It's a lovely sunset here at Shamu Stadium. Oh, he's fast. Ish. Not fast enough. Right. I don't want that pitch. What? Hanley Dexterez is murdering me out there with the hits and the glove. You hate to see it. That's not wild. It'd be nice if I got a hit again at some point. Not clear that that will ever happen. Strike three. Manny K is getting his getting his uh, legs back under him after that two run donger. Hmm. Or not. Still counts. Pork Longstroke makes the play, and that's a one two three inning. But I'm just gonna need to start getting some hits at some point. Pitcher is locked in once again. I wouldn't have minded hitting him right in the groin with that one. We'll take the base hit. Cat stands is on a tear. Uh, this gentleman is not. That was kind of right down the middle, wasn't it? 
And there's a nice hit for the hammer. Can the runner come in? Um, Cat stands at, oops, that's an accidental single. I meant to send him to second, but he took so long to get to first that uh, by the time I had stopped pressing, I thought, I thought I'd press the left button long enough. It was not the case, let's just say that. Nice RBI for the hammer, though. Oh, tie to me. The animal! Looks like the bats have come alive here in the sixth. Two run donger for Lloyd Cook. Doesn't matter if uh, Hammer ran to second. Didn't need to. He's just saving those old legs. 431 feet to center. Only his second of the season, but you love to see it. Pitcher back to tense. Looked low to me. Also looked low to me. A well-hit ball by uh, the slowest man on earth, but he's going to get a double out of that. Sirloin Rally in the sixth is looking solid. Here's the Ilsu. Okay, that was a nice pitch. Should not have swung at that. Oh, and two. Takes that one high. I wish I hadn't swung. That was a bit high. You hate to see Eel Soup get an out also. Here's Pa. She could use a hit. Got a contact swing. Early Bender just throwing some trash. Whatever. I did not love that pitch. Hmm. Little too much under that one. Posh is uh, in a slump. Fork long stroke, he's due for a hit. Man, that's not going to do it right at their second baseman. But another two runs for, or sorry, excuse me, three runs for the sirloins. Gets us back on top. But here's some dangerous batters at the top of the order. Just murdered somebody in my dugout. Murdered someone in the outfield. Alright. It's not great. And the mojo up, which is not desirable. Alright, not super afraid of Kobe Kingston. He's got a lot of pep in that bat. See how he feels about this high heat. Not great, turns out. 98 mile per hour fastball for Manny Kays. Now, this guy has been known to fuck me up. Twenty-five power is probably not going to get the job done. The timing on that is just challenging. Look how fast! What? He is so fast. You hate to see it. So we got two on with one out. Not ideal. Can't get magic more to swing at the garbage. Point at that garbage though. Uh, that might be a run. Don't know that I can stop it. We're going to try. No, not quite. It was close, but knew it wasn't going to work. Nice thing about these B-Wolves is that after their first couple of hitters, um, it gets a lot less scary. They don't have a nice top-to-bottom kind of lineup, I don't think. Fair ball. So we surrender a run, but nothing too disastrous. Manny Kays, he's ready to get a hit. No, he's not. I take it all back. Alright, he's not even going for it. One and two. That one was curving into the strike zone, so I had to take a swipe. It wasn't a good swipe. Early bender back to neutral, but very tired, so we can live with that. I think Fleet Beefy got all of that one. Solo donger for Fleet. He is uh, on a tear. 
third of the season. They love to see it. Here's Cat Stanza. She's two for three. He's back to tenth, understandably. Okay. Good bitch. I botched that one. So, quick inning. We did get one run on the board on the strength of a fleet beefy donger. So far, the 6th, 7th, and 8th batters experiencing little success against Manny K's. But that could change quickly. They're not good. But they're still baseball, professional baseball men who on occasion get the job done. They do not bite on those okay pitches, though, somehow. Oh, I did bite on that one, as it so happens. Get some looking with the change. Goes. wonder if Ian Fielder has good fielding stats, because he's not much of a batter. Eel soup makes the play. Powerful throw at the one, two, three inning. And still sirloins by three heading into the eighth. We haven't gotten a great deal of hits this game, but we've uh, gotten quality hits. Now the second baseman, Roy Cook. Oh. Bojo up, that's all it takes for you? Alright, here's Wankenstein. Two doubles for the slowest man on earth. I don't want that one. Uh, somehow I did want that one. Okay, that was a good at bat. Time for you to come alive, eel soup. Takes two balls. To, you can see the fear in Hurley Bender's eyes. I thought I was going to justify it there, but not quite. What am I doing? Not a great inning. The big bats of the sirloins did not get it done there. But I will say, I think this is the longest period I've had someone in uh, locked in in possibly the history of this series. New pitcher makes sense. Calby looks like she knows how to hit a bit. Calby, not a real name, though, gotta say. I think she is uh, a representative of the brand that makes um, uh, chips with the with the space dog. Consume Ponchi, we'll call him. Consume? Consume? Ooh, what the fuck am I doing? Consume Ponchi! Thank you. When you're bad at baseball, you want Consume Ponchi on your side. And I'm pretty bad at baseball, so I should probably sign that player. That's hit hard. But the Gold Glove winners are another 1, 2, 3, and 4. Man, this might be a second straight complete game, no? Churn Lagrange coming in. He's not, not too good at baseball. Let's see if we can get a little, couple extra runs. We could really use a hit for Posh. Nice pitch. Good check swing. And she walks. I mean, it's probably not, oh, it does get her the mojo up. Nice to see that for Posh. Cork Longstroke still looking for that first hit of the season. It's been a struggle. Good news for him. He won't have to play next game. We'll have Monica Hayato back. This guy is not throwing strikes, huh? Uh, Cork! He breaks out the long stroke! Two run donger. It's been, it's been dongers left and right here for the sirloins. 433 free feet to straightaway center. You'll love to see it. We'll leave Manny K's in. See if he can get a hit. Go power swing. That's yeah, pitch. What am I doing? Alright, well. 
That didn't inspire confidence. Okay, whatever. It's Davis Estes. He's he's much better at pitching. Seems like they should have put him in first, honestly. Fleet Beefy hit it hard, but hit it right at him. We got a lot of locked in batters. It's a lovely thing to see. It's subtly crotch grabbed, which I think is just offensive. Nice play by Kobe Kinkman. Hate that guy. Another two runs slathered on. Excuse me. Let's see if we can get Hamlin Dexterra's at out. He's he is juiced. You can't change that. And he blasts one up the middle for the traditional leadoff single to center. We got a nice five-run cushion here. We'll be leaving Manny K's in unless something catastrophic happens. Double play ball? Nope. I pressed dive, but it was probably too late. Unless they're that catastrophic. We're going to let Manny K's go sit on the bench. Looks like it's time for screw powers. Or no, it's Danger McGee. Let's get him out there. Don't have a lot of trust in Danger, but the closer. Let him close. Ooh, that was hard to control. That's a double play ball. So fast, though. Couldn't get him. Now we're to the scrubby part of their order. Johnson Swanson, one of the worst players in baseball history. And he naturally leads into a double play. Zerloins win. Eight and five, baby. I'm sniffling. I've got sneeze. Nice, solid game for this one. We had nine hits. We got eight runs out of them. Lots of dongers. Everybody except for Posh got a base hit. And Manny Kays, of course. That hardly counts. Manny Kays with a nice little game. Eight strikeouts is always good. Hanley Dexterous gets the player of the game somehow. I mean, I know he has two RBIs, but Fleet Beefy has two runs. He got a home run and a triple. Whatever. Got boned there. Domination. I don't feel like that was domination, but it was a solid win. And we're up here with Ducky and Crazy. Um, I do play at a higher difficulty than Ducky on average, so I deserve that, I guess. See if there's anything going on here. Is that is that happening again? Is well, Bugsy Snugs. Two guys only got one junk pitch. Oh, Mick Steele got worse at throwing. He's a first baseman, who so who cares? That's fine. Won't be any black market acupuncture for Lubbock Chops. I don't care about his fielding an arm. Oh, geez. So, hammer long ball got even slower. I didn't notice. Um, actually, Danger McGee, I didn't. I was confused when I saw that he was a C plus, and there's why. Um, he lost a little bit of accuracy. No big deal. But somehow that three-point drop and actually was enough to get him uh, demoted from B minus to C plus. How about that? Looks like uh, the chance for Cat Stanza to get stimulants is pretty much over, as are horse hormones for Cork Longstroke, who cares? Um, this is not bad. Um, her arm could be better since she's a third baseman. How old is she, though? 34. We're not spending money on that. Making Lloyd Cook even faster? 5% chance to gain high pitch? Boy, that's tempting. This would be kind of nice for Danger McGee, but I, I just don't care about Danger McGee enough. This is a weird one. Black Market Acupuncture just because just don't ask what they put in those needles. Acupuncture needles don't have a don't have a vial. They're they're just needles. There's they have no way of delivering any kind of fluid into you. So I guess this is just some sort of uh, no. I'm not. I I am not endorsing acupuncture. Acupuncture is possibly um, scientifically proven to have some beneficial effects on nausea, but that's it. Nothing else. Nothing else has ever been proven about acupuncture. I, I, I don't believe in it for anything else. I do believe in it for nausea because it's been scientifically demonstrated that that works, but everything else, it's just witch doctoring more or less. Um, but this is just um, 
taking drugs under another name, I suppose. I'm still looking at this Lloyd Cook one. It's almost all... Well, it's not really almost all my money. But I don't really care about the speed that much, but 5%... Getting high pitch would be amazing. You know, I hate swinging at high pitches in general, but I do it a lot, so... Let's not go. All right, let's not do it. I just don't think that's a good use of money. Who was that? Oh! Magikarp didn't have a team! But he now replaces Dick Eforto, which seems like a good trade up for the Sawteeth. Magikarp is a great fielder, but he, he can't hit. He sucks at hitting, so fuck him. Oh, the Jacks almost got a win, but it, they couldn't make it happen. Crocs edge the moose. Just hold on. Hot corners get battered by the struggling freebooters who get their second win of the season. Sandcats cannot... Oh, they come back against the Sawteeth as they almost blew it. Blowfish, happy they're not playing me. Bee Wolves, happy they're not playing me. Hot corners... Hold on against the Nemesis to get to 9-5. and five. Herbisaurs win again. They're 9-5 and five too. This is going to be the season of a lifetime for Randy Davis. So the Sandcats have the best record in the league at 9-4. and four. Um, Bunch teams at 9-5. and five. The Hot Corners, the Herbisaurs, the B-Wolves, and the Heaters, and me if I can get one more win. Same deal for the Platypi if they get one more win. We are playing... The Wild Pigs, and they're not throwing out a great pitcher here. Who's having a great season, though. Durbin Holmes is 1-1 one one with a 3 ERA and a 1 whip. 1 whip is really good. We got the we got uh, the Country Music Superstar Bugsy Snugs coming out here. Modica is back. Totally, I agree. We're not going to take Posh out. Uh, we'll let her try to hit through this slump. This is all fine. We are on the road against the Wild Pigs, but we are... Oh, we're at Founders Field. That is not Apple Field. They're both urban environments for baseball. Which makes me feel at home. Perhaps a bit precipitous in that swing. Morning track power. It's, it's a short right field, though. It's a good place to hit it. Cassie has sent that high pitch for a ride, but it's caught at the fence. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. I didn't want anything to do with that. I meant to actually swing, but I was going to miss anyway. Fuck me. So... The hammer's in a bit of a death spiral because of his bad contact rating. It leads to me contact swing, which I'm not good at. I really thought I had a, a donger there, though, so that's a shame. Not with hammer, of course, with uh, Cat Stanza, but it just fell short. Hayata, back in the field, making nice plays. Well, this guy's a threat. He's got beautiful uh, mascara on. I like the looks of that. Uh, I don't think the gold glove winner is going to be getting to that. But man, that's a pretty bad fall off to the number three hitter. He's batting .083, which is pretty bad, I would say fastball, and, but he hits it right up the middle. Alright, so we got runners on first second with one out. Let's just get a double play and finish this off. Flash Evans has got some real power in the bat. He doesn't have the power to stop that slider. Do an improved slider. Alright, well, when I throw two in a row, sometimes things happen. Or give him the low heat. It's not a strike. But he's one. Right. We'll take it. Okay, so the Wild Pigs are not a talented batting team, I would say. Ah, I touched the base. Whatever. Second inning. 
Here's Filet. He's batting 150. It's not been a wonderful season for him. What am I doing? What? Make him work. Hmm, got a little bit on top of that one, unfortunately. Here's the animal. His power is slightly on the charts, but mostly off the charts. Alright, well, that's clearly a strike. Base it up the middle for Lloyd Cook. He's having a bit of a renaissance here. He's still in his prime. You love to see it. Probably another season I have to worry about his stats going down before I have to worry. I'm not enunciating well, but yeah, get what I'm saying. Uh-oh. Emiliano Wankerstein is not a fast man. So that wasn't great. Beautiful pitch. Monica had a sh show and she's back in the game. Nice slider. It's good enough. Strike three. Bugsy Snugs is feeling it. Despite how much I complain about wanting him off the team for his pitch choices, he's still a very effective pitcher. Man, that sneeze wrecked me. All right, I think Hammer can go get that one. So Wally Bacon fucked me up last time I played him, but his stats are terrible when he's not locked in. So I think I should be able to take care of this matter right now. You don't have to crotch grab about it, though. Uh, right down the middle. All right. Doesn't swing. Bitch. Okay. You stink, Wally Bacon. I don't know why you were so good last time we played. Fleet Beefy batting 7th is an absolute nightmare for the opposition. Durbin Holmes is locked in now because of my bad hitting. I thought that was a ball. Also, that was a ball. I was right that time. I wish I hadn't swung. But I did. But I did. Gotta get Eel Super hit so she stays locked in. Look low. And it's good enough. The era of eel soup is still upon us. Career year for eel soup. And the contact swing succeeds for Posh. That should get her back up to neutral, I think. Sorry, I'm, I'm drinking. Whoa, I botched that, didn't I? Oh my god, I'm sorry, Monica. Stays alive. What am I doing? I can't believe I even got contact on that one. <laughs> I wanted to swing so bad. That's a scary pitch. You must be shitting me. Once again, I've hit it to right where their player is shifted to for double plays. God damn. I hate to see that kind of thing happen. The last thing I want to see Cat Stanton to get back to, or sorry, excuse me, Monica Ayata to get back to, um, wild, wild, um, get back to rattled, well, not rattled, but tense. I, I, okay. Smooth play by Fleet Beefy there. He hates to see that traditional first leadoff hitter base hit. Alright, Spanky. Fucking R Gang bullshit's not gonna fly around here. Double play. That's what I meant. Alright, here's Kylan McSticks, their scariest batter. Let's hit those corners. Nothing but quality pitches. So far, he's, he's still getting some contact, but that was not great. That will be out of play. No way I'm catching that one. 
I want to jump though. I, I cannot jump. I okay, well, he's dedicated to making contact. You gotta say that for him. Oh, you couldn't give me the call. As I said, he's a foul ball hitter. Low heat. It's not that low, though, and it's a donger. I hate this game. The worst game ever made. His third donger of the season. We find ourselves behind. It's alright, Bugsy. Fake sneeze. Strike two. Whatever, it's over. So, we give up a run. Well, just maybe Cat Stanza wants to hit a donger of her own. Her pitcher is locked in, unfortunately. Ah, uh, bad timing. Okay. 0 oh 2. Uh, she's not fast. Alright, here's the hammer. It's been a long season for the hammer, but we still believe. Um, believe in swinging at bad pitches is what I meant. Time out for Jameson. Irish whiskey. God, this stuff's good. When you want to get drunk twice in one day, Jameson. Irish whiskey. Uh, yes, Filet Jones with the base knock. He's still fighting for 200. And here's the, the animal. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? Why would I swing at that pitch? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I got too excited about batting as the animal, and I paid the awful price. What a slider, though. I swing. Outside. It wasn't good. Give him the high heat. A little high. Yeah, that wasn't a great pitch. That's a great pitch. It said so right on the screen. Eel Soup makes the catch, makes the throw. One down. I need to score some runs, don't I? Oh, I didn't mean to pitch. God, I wish you had pitches that weren't fastballs. But you can make the fastballs work. A little pop out to Eel Soup. She's busy this inning. She's throwing home. Probably not good enough to get him at the plate. Gotta hate guys with this kind of batting stance. Let's kind of brush him back. He didn't even... Lynch. Sounds like seems like he knew exactly what I was up to. I will say that I don't hit enough people with pitches in this game compared to past um, Super Mega Baseball games, and I apologize for that. Because I always found that to be one of the most fun parts of the game. The Gold Glove winner! It, it's back. It's totally back. Mojo down? That's right. I need hits. Let's start with Wankerstein. I'm a little sniffly. Was. I disagree. Mm, I wish I hadn't swung. Uh, same, but it was fouled off, so no big deal. That was the pitch. I botched it. Here's Fleet Beefy. Yeah, he's he's afraid and rightfully so. Disagree. That's outside. Looked low to me. No, Full count. Inside. Oh, you hate to see that kind of thing happen. Bojo down. We're going to need the goddess, the empress, the queen, Alejandra Eelstoop to help us. 
Um. No. So, had some great batters that inning. Didn't make anything happen. My bad. The slowdowns are real as fuck here. Bugs, he does it though. Now he's having a great game. He's gave up one, one, one little donger. It's a thing that happens, and the slowdown continues. I'm gonna jump, but it's not gonna matter. We'll just take a little gentle throw here. No, no reason to get hammer long ball it to rattle. Runner on first with one out. We got man and moon up. Man and moon. So I guess I finally figured out that his name is some sort of shitty pun for man in the moon. Which I believe was also the basis of the Mac Tonight um, campaign by McDonald's in the 80s. Spanky Wagner, even though when he's tense, is still a bit of a threat. Let's not take the foot off the gas pedal just yet. Gobble. The Gold Glove winner, he's there. Lloyd Cook's having a defensive renaissance, uh, but I need hits, and they need to result in runs. Here's Posh Murthright, she's one for one. She can go back to power swinging like the champion she is. Sure is. Eh, some regrets about swinging. No regrets about swinging at that one. Just swinging badly is not really doing it. Uh, slop in. Slop, 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 slop. Fuck you, Flash Evans. I need to get Modica a hit. Takes one high. Takes one inside. Takes one. Oh, fine. Fuck you. A little late on that one. Two. Full count. Damn, I hit that fine. Mojo down already for poor Modica. I'm going to say I'm not treating Modica right. <laughs> this has been a struggle for her this season. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. And we're heading to the bottom of the sixth. Sirloins trail by one. He anticipated that, but I would have thought he would swing because that wasn't that bad of a pitch, was it? Nobody expects two sliders in a row, so the second one's terrible. And the high heat. Not like the heat, heat but all right, I should have used the actual heat. In the low heat. Nice catch by Bugsy. He's going to make a little bit of a run and toss. The old run and toss. Ooh, baby, I didn't mean to throw that pitch. Wait, anyway. Bugsy Snugs is showing some great stuff on the mound here today. Um, shame about that one run and I can't get any hits. Alright, let's get the double. What? Mojo down must have been for Bugsy. He briefly, very briefly got up to uh, locked in, but it did not last. Ow. <gasps> no. No double play possibility. I mean, limited. And oh man, that's a mojo down for Posh. You hate to see that kind of thing. Wild, he says. <laughs> that was the one way I could double play, but I actually need to go to the shortstop to have a realistic chance, which it did not do. How'd you even touch that high heat? Alright, inning over. The sirloins need to get something going on offense. So far, I've really struggled. Here's the hammer. He's contact swinging. Takes that one. Whatevs. I don't think that's going to do it. Alright, dum dum. He's out. Here's Filet. Still on the hunt for 200. 
What am I doing? Why did I swing at that awful pitch? But here's the animal. He drives that. I'm not sure if that'll be a double or not. We're going to not try four. We're going back to first. Probably. Well, I mean, since he dropped it, I obviously could have made it. But Come on, Dr. Wankerstein. Oh, that might be called a strike. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Love booing. Uh, the hits, they aren't coming. But country music superstar Bugsy Snugs is keeping us alive. We're only down by one. We just need to get lucky ones. Even got a little lucky there. Look at that pitch. Steve Reich is right. We'll give him the high heat. And it's a beauty. We are in the uh, shabby part of their lineup. I think I've already lost to the Wild Pigs once this season. Like, I'm pretty sure. I really do not... Wow, that was hard to control. I don't want to lose them again. Please, anything but that. Oh, beauty. Bugsy Snugs with a little 7th... Is it the 7th inning or is it the 8th inning? Please say it's the 7th inning. Got a little text message from... <laughs> from my lovely girlfriend. She sent me a really cute picture of her cat, so I hope that you guys have significant others, who cares about the gender, that um, send you cute cat pictures. It is the bottom of the seventh, so that's the same as the top of the eighth, really, for my purposes. I, I can't get shut out. We haven't been shut out for a while. It has happened, and it really hurt me. Like, I felt terrible. We got Fleet, Beefy, and Eel Soup, so we can make something happen here. Here's Fleet. Why did I swing? I thought it was going to go low. Alright, Eel Soup, save us. Legatus. Her stats are absolutely terrible as soon as she's locked in. Oh, she's neutral again. Fuck. There is. Alright, on the corner. Base it for the goddess. Get her get her back up to locked in. She deserves it. Yeah, son. Alright, we're gonna have to contact swing with Posh, so this is a bit scary. What am I doing? I I did power swing strats with um Excuse me? Nope, that's inside. Posh knocks it to center for a base hit. We got two on with one out. And we got the perpetually tense Bodica Hayata at the plate. I have really fucked her over this season. Fine. Fuck you on that one. Uh, shit. We're on the verge of wasting a gem from Bugsy Snugs. We only got one more shot at him. Um, perhaps not the best pitch I've ever thrown. That's inside. Jeez. Okay. They are giving me some tough shit to deal with. Take your base. 
What? First walk of the season for Bugsy Snugs. <coughs> if I were given the choice, I would not uh, designate this man to hit, but whatever. So hard. Yeah, see, that's. If you are designated to hit, you gotta be a little better at it than that. Here's the terrifying Kylan McSticks. Bugsy's a little tired. Ugh. Three players with the orange arrow. Okay, so it looks like uh, Screw Powers is good to go. Fair enough. Oh my god. My pitching is uh getting a little sloppy. Fuck. Now that the catcher, Ernie Bling. Little text messaging. She's been working hard all day. Feel bad for it because it is Saturday. Fuck. That hurts. Trying to use a strike out here. It's good. It's not great. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one, though. Right at the pitcher. The comebacker. And that should do it. Lloyd Cook charges, makes the play. So all you need is one run to tie here in the top of the ninth. Batters are combined one for nine. That's on me. We got Cat Stanza. She's good. Good at baseball. That's not going to be caught. I'll say that for it. Nice leadoff double for Cat. It's hammer long ball his chance to be a hero. He's a legend of the game. I think he's going to rise to the occasion. Sure, he's batting 182, but that's on me. Oops. I uh, power swung with contact swing. Runner advances to third. Can't hate on that. He's an RBI man. So, having your third and fourth batters both batting under um, 200 is not great. I'm power swinging. Tire, tying run comes in. The RBI man delivers. Game is not over. And now we got Mr. Single, the animal, the gold glove winner. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, he's a specialist, as his name indicates. Let's get, he's already a little tired. Let's make him pitch. Well, those are good pitches. Uh, that looks a lot like a double play. Lloyd Cook's going to run it out, though. Oh, God. This specialist is killing me, though. Boo. Boo. What? I excuse me? Boo! 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 Ah, uh, wish I hadn't swung at that. Boo! Mojo down. I should have run. I didn't. Boo! 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 Let's resend that message, stupid. Oh, 
chat. I am on VPN, so WeChat doesn't really work. I got off VPN. Which is bad, because it means I can't talk to Chris Plays Games, who's... Who's a wonderful person, unlike this bitch. The contact swing! Contact swing, dogger! Wanker Stein. Wank. Yeah. Cat stands into it. Two run donger to right center. You'll love to see it. We're, we're in the lead. Suddenly, we're in the lead. Ah, well, that's not going to do it. But we put on three runs to take the. Drift! It's not going to drift. All right, let's take a close look here. Screw Powers can finish this off. We'll put in Danger McGee if we got to. I'd prefer not. You know, he's better now. No one expects two curveballs in a row. And that one's good. It said so right there. Uh, that went a little low. But if you're going to go wild, may as well go wild outside the strike zone. That's a hit. Eel soup can't stop it. Tying run, tying batter at the plate. Oh, Joe, what? Fuck you. He's terrible, fortunately. Beautiful pitch. Gets the job done. Catch it. No catching it. All right. You hate to see that. Now it's the game-winning runner at the plate. Traditional rival Wally Bacon. His stats are trash. So let's uh, put him in his grave. Have you ever heard the song Run to Your Grave by... Uh, I don't remember who Run, but Run to Your Grave is by, but it's a great song. Double play ball. The Gold Glove winner. Bam! Sirloins get it done. Wasn't pretty, wasn't easy, but we made it work. And my mouse is actually still on. Oh, how about that? Nice game from Bugsy Snugs. 7.1 in a third inning pitch. Gave up six hits in one run. Not bad. Seven strikeouts is pretty good. Bugsy Snugs, player of the game. I mean, they didn't give it to any of other guys. Fair enough. But that two-run donger from Wankerstein, I think, deserves something more than killing McStick's guy with his one donger in RBI. But he did fill up the stat sheet with three hits and a run and a stolen base. I mean, the RBI and the run, they were both in the donger, right? Oh, we're, we're up there with Hobbit and Rudd. I kind of hate Hobbit and Rudd. We are up. We are on a two-game winning streak. The uh, post-nap baseball play is looking pretty solid. We're going to make one more video. I'm a little sleepy again. Let's take a quick look and see if anything's going on here. Tiger Tent. Velocity up. He's only 20, so he should only get stat increases. Um... Wow, I don't have 1.8 million for Manny K's. Getting 14 velocity and K-Man would be amazing. Castanza got real fast. Okay. Oh. Um, Port... What? Why would you cut Port Gleaming? What the fuck are you doing? Is he like having the best statistical season of any catcher in the league? For a team that is right there in play. What? I'm. And he's so cheap right now. Can't. Oh, he, he's asking for more money than he got cut for. He's He's got a history of bizarre demands for salary, but Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going on here? Why would you, why would you cut someone who is top of the league in batting average, 
Top of the league in on base finish. Top of the league in slugging. Top of the league in OBS, obviously. What the shit, Hot Corners? What is wrong with you? Look at Eel Soup. Second in the league in, in extra base hits. I wish I could afford to bring him back. This is the most baffling um, roster move I have ever seen. Huh? Huh? I don't have 7.3 million, though. the thing of it all. And I'm paying Posh, what, 5 point something million? I can't fill out my roster if I take him. Posh is making 5.2, and Lubbock Chops making 4. .2. He's the most overpaid player on our team, obviously. But there's only one catcher available. Port Gleaming, so... I'd have to cut somewhere else. And I just don't see it. And the only way to do it is to cut Hammer Long Ballo, and that will not be fucking happening. Or one of my amazing pitchers, which is also probably not happening. I'm looking. I am overpaying Tiger Tent for his amazing batting, but I don't think there's any other pitchers I could sign, honestly. I mean, there's Elmo Slayer at 31 million. <laughs> There's three amazing pitchers, sorry, pitchers that are just pricing themselves out of the market. Elmo Slayer, possibly the best player in the game. Raleigh Overa, Overo, on Hell Verde. Then after Jeffrey Rockman, who was also asking for way too much money for a guy who's all accuracy, he's trash in my opinion. Down to Don. Ooh. That's how I could make it happen. I could sign Donovan Drake to replace Tiger Tent and sign Port Gleaming back, but I'm not, I'm not doing it. That's not, not a possibility. Get out of here. I want Port Gleaming back, but we'll see if his uh, salary demands go down during the race. Is that a thing? I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode of Super Mega Baseball 3 featuring internet celebrity Brad Pritchard, his lovely cat Dum Dum, his other lovely cat Nana who's looking at me and I'm going to wave at her. And blow her a kiss. Cats don't recognize when you blow them a kiss. They, they, they don't understand that gesture. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.